As I was about to leave the lake, I noticed a small group of tench milling around in the inlet. They were weaving in and out of the snags, but once in a while they were dipping down to feed. And I haven't caught a tench yet this year, so I thought I'd give it a go. My first cast wasn't very clever and all it resulted in was spooking the fish away from the area. But they didn't go too far, they just circled behind a tree and then started to move back again. I could hear some rustling down to the right of me, right close in the margins. And when I had a little look, there was a little wood mouse he was waking up too. It's his spring, his summer, his time. But he didn't seem to be bothering anyone, so I thought I'd leave him to it. I still wasn't quite happy with where the bait was, so I brought the cast in, and then I just rebaited and looked to put it somewhere slightly better for a pickup. There was one very distinctive spot and I knew if I could get the bait to land on that as soon as the fish came over a take would be inevitable. It wasn't very far out, maybe a rod length. Bingo, it's on the spot. And sure enough the first fish went straight down and took the bait in. As I said, there's a lot of snags in this area, so it turned into a bit of a tug of war. Not really one for the purists. But I was determined to get him in the net. And with my trusty holdfast by my side, there was only ever gonna be one winner. What a magnificent fish. Beautiful male tench. Well over four pounds, I would imagine. Lovely shoulders, beautiful butter yellow belly. I don't catch many tench. When I do, I'm mesmerized by the beady little orange eye. And in my absence, the other tinker clearing up the bait.